Now, if you're anything like me, you spend way too much time just getting an Excel spreadsheet to look good. Taking an Excel spreadsheet from looking like this to something like this, this, or this. This has driven me insane over the years. But in this video, I've got my insanely simple formatting tip that I apply every day in my Excel consulting work. It concerns color. What colors should you be using in Excel spreadsheets? I've simplified it for you. I'm going to show you how to do it in the next 10 minutes or so. But if we're meeting for the first time, a big welcome to Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions. I'm Chris Mortimer, the founder of Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions. I'm a real world consultant. And if you want a free Excel training course, you like what we do here, we've got it right here on YouTube, 30 day Excel analyst. It's for you, your colleagues, your team. The link is in the video description below. Make sure you download the file and work along with me. So how do we move from a spreadsheet that looks like this to something like this, this or this? And how do we avoid getting lost in color? What's the best way to simplify how you use colors in Excel spreadsheets? Well, I came up with my two color color scheme and then I simplified it further. I have a one color color scheme. Yes, my Excel spreadsheets usually use one color, at least one color predominantly. In this case, we're using green. We've got dark green with light font. In, uh, and down the side here, we've got light green with dark front font. The same here with blue and the same here with red and this kind of peach color here. So it's my one color color scheme. This is how I've simplified things. Let's go ahead and apply it straight away here. So across the top, we're looking for a dark color with a light font. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to use the blue. You could use whatever whatever color suits you here. And I'm going to fill in the white font there. Then down the side, control shift down on the Windows PC. And we're going to go for a lighter shade of blue here with a dark font color. So something like this should do the job. So this is how I recommend you manage color in Excel spreadsheets by just using one color. But you might say, Chris, You've got away with another color there. Yeah, you're absolutely right. This border, I recommend using a contrast color, a brighter color here for contrast. Alt H O E on the Windows PC is going to take us into the formatting dialog box. You can also right click and somewhere down here we can find format cells. So I would use this dialog box where you want to do something with borders that isn't super simple. So I find orange and even yellow can work uh, when we're looking for this lighter um, contrast color. I'm going to go for the thicker border here and then we should see it, see it appear in our data set. So this is the super simple way, the insanely simple way that I color my spreadsheets these days. But you're saying, Chris, there's more to it. There is absolutely more to it. So let's move beyond color. How do we get to this more sophisticated look? Let's go through it step by step. Now, firstly, column widths. Let's get those column widths consistent. If I look at the finished spreadsheet here, Alt H O W, I can see these column widths are consistent. And I can see I've used a multiple, a base unit. In this case, I've used a base unit of five. I can see all of the column widths are a multiple of five. This is what I recommend you do. So let's go column width 10 here, Alt H O W 10 or you can right click at the, at the top of the column and, and get to column width via the menu there. Alt H O W, let's go for 20 there. That is already 20 here. Alt H O W 10, looks like it might work. Alt H O W 10, that looks okay. Then what about our rev column? Alt H O W, I'm gonna go uh, five here. So we've got consistent column widths. These simple things give a sense of calm and order in your spreadsheet and they look good. It's not the most important thing that a spreadsheet looks good, but it is the icing on the cake, as we'd say here in the UK. And crucially, it's a way for you to differentiate yourself as a developer. Another thing I put in all my spreadsheets is buffer columns, buffer rows. So I've just done um, control space bar and then control shift, holding down control shift plus plus to give me two columns here. You can also uh, right click on the column header and somewhere, somewhere anyway, you'll be able to find an option to insert columns, uh, probably insert here. OK, so my buffer columns, column width three, Alt H O W three here. 
then we're going to do the same thing with the row. So how do we select a whole row? Hold down the shift key, hit space bar, control shift plus, plus again. And you can see we've now got this nice buffering effect. It just seems to lead the eye into the spreadsheets and it just makes things feel a bit calmer, a bit more ordered, in my opinion. We've got some unnecessary space here. Alt H O H. I'm going to take this down uh, to 30. When we're beginning to move towards what I would call a nicely formatted uh, spreadsheet here. So, what are we going to do with the borders? What I recommend you do is Alt W V G on the Windows PC. You can also go to the View tab, and if you go to Show and then Grid Lines, you'll be able to switch off the grid lines. So. I like this because it gives a clean look, but I've got a problem here as well, which is to do with readability, readability. The first lecturer who taught me about spreadsheets said readability is important. It's going to be difficult to identify tackling three. Who does this relate to in the data set? I can go shift and space bar perhaps to do that, but we don't want to have to do that every time. So how many borders do you want? Control shift right, control shift down, alt H B A on the Windows PC is going to give us all borders. Mm, looks okay, it's readable, lacking a bit of class and distinctiveness for me. I like just using the horizontal borders here. So I'm going to go to Ref2 Row 5 here, Control Shift Right, Control Shift Down, Alt H O E. Again, you can also right click and go to Format Cells here. And then once again, I'm going to use this dialog box to configure the formatting exactly how I want it. Does anybody use this ever in Excel spreadsheets? When you're using that dialog box, you'll do that often accidentally. I certainly do. I'm just looking for this effect here. I'm going to use all of the horizontal borders. That means I get this nice clean look whilst retaining um, the readability, the readability that we need in spreadsheets. What else have we got? Well, you might have seen this nice alternating pattern We've, we've formatted alternating rows here. How to do that? Well, you can format as a table. The easiest way to get quick alternating row formatting, if that makes sense, is to format as a table. You can then subsequently um, convert to a range if you want to do that. This is how I would do it. And this is how I do do it. If I'm looking for this custom bespoke formatting effect, I'm going to format one row as gray. Going to copy that, Control C on the Windows PC. Going to paste it, paste it two rows down, Control Alt V and T for formats, of, of course. And I can see I've got another gray row there. Then I want to repeat the last action. Repeat the last action on the Windows PC, just hitting F4, then moving down with the cursors. You can see, yes, it's a little bit annoying, but it doesn't take that long. Doesn't take as long as you might think. And I have a few problems with Excel tables I've covered elsewhere on the channel in the video description below. You can see my video on why I don't always use Excel tables. We've also got a video in the description below on how to use Excel shortcuts to format your spreadsheet. But this is it. This is my insanely simple Excel formatting color scheme. I've done it with blue hair. You could do it with green. You could do it with red whatever uh, color suits your situation. Let me know what you think in the comments below. The next video to watch is right here. I'll see you there.